So in today's session, I'm going to answer the question, should a director file tax returns? By director, I'm talking about a director of a company. Now, the answer is yes and no. It is yes and no because in order for a director to file their tax returns, it's going to depend on some circumstances. So let me start this way as I explain the derivation of these circumstances. For starters, a director is an individual. According to the Income Tax Act, income tax is levied on a person. Now, who is a person according to the Act? According to the Income Tax Act, a person could be a company, it could be an individual, it could be a trust, it could be a government agency. So when we are leaving income tax, we are leaving it on a person. And according to the law, a person could be one of those four things, a company, a trust, a government agency, or an individual. So since we are talking about a director, so it means that we are talking about an individual. So in other words, income tax is going to be levied on an individual. Now, this individual on whom income tax is being levied is supposed to be getting income. You know, income tax is levied on an individual that is earning income. So what kinds of incomes could be receivable by an individual? Now, an individual could be employed, and so if they're employed, they are earning employment income. An individual could be earning business income from a small business. An individual could be earning income from uh, rent, that is rental income. And also an individual could also be earning property income. So it depends. Um, is this individual earning business income out of sole proprietorship? Is, are these people, is this individual earning income as an employee? And so forth, like I have mentioned. It's either employment income or it is a business income or it is rental income or property income. So in this context, we are looking at the director. A director, firstly, is an individual. So it means income tax is going to be imposed on the individual. According to the Income Tax Act, a director is an employee of the company where he is a director for income tax purposes. So that means that if a director is an employee of a company where he is a director, it means this director is earning employment income. So that means that income tax is going to be levied on their employment income. So now we all know that when it comes to employment income, employment income for general employees is subject to pay as you earn. In other words, before the employer is able to pay you your salary, that employer is supposed to withhold some money from you and that employer pays that money to URA on your behalf as an employee. That money that is being withheld from the employee by the employer is what we call pay as you earn. So that simply means that if a director is earning employment income because according to the Income Tax Act, he is an employee of the company, it means that uh, that director's income is also subject to pay. And so that means that if this company is registered for pay as you earn, this director's name and team are supposed to feature on the pay schedule so that his income is subject to the pay rates. And in essence, income tax is paid on his employment income. So if we are having a director and their sole source of income is exclusively from that directorship or in the company where they are the director. And this director's income is, you know, um, subject to pay. In other words, they, uh, pay, they, they, they appear on the pay schedule together with their team and the pay is remitted to URA on their behalf. Then this director doesn't need, doesn't have to file director's returns. Why? Because his employment income is already subject to pay. He's already paying tax. So even if they filed director's returns, it's a useless return 
because already you're going to be declaring you know the income uh, he has been earning throughout there which income has already been subject to tax so that is scenario one scenario one is we are having a director he is a director of a certain company and that is his entire source of income he does not earn income from anywhere else but he works in this company as a director such a person a director or an individual who is a director of a company and they are being paid as a director in that company and that is their entire source of income that's their their income is exclusively from being a director and they do not earn income anywhere else if that director appears on their pay schedules every month they do not have to file director's returns or in other words they do not have to declare their individual income tax because they are earning income exclusively from their employment as a director in the company now let's twist this a bit let's assume that this director has been you know this director is uh, um, earning income from other sources yes you're a director in the company but let's say this director is also earning rental income from somewhere else from his rentals he constructed rentals let's uh let let this be known that when it comes to rental income rental income is taxed separately from the normal incomes you know it's taxed separately from business income it is taxed separately from you know employment income there are different rates that are applied to rental income so if this director is earning rental income then that director needs to file their individual income tax returns so that they are including both their employment income and also their rental income okay now of course in the income tax return template for individuals when you're filing it there is the part where yes you will declare the employment income that you have been earning but also there is in this in that schedule are you able to indicate the pay you've already paid on that employment income so it, in other words the excel template as it is computing your tax payable it will it, it you'll find that yes it's going to compute how much tax you're supposed to pay on the employment income then you you say in the same template you say that but this is how much i've paid for pay so you'll find that the tax liability has that has been computed is eventually you know um cancelled out with your declaration of the pay that you have already paid so in essence employment income you find that there is no resulting tax as a result however if there is other sources of income like rental income you need or property income you need to um de declare that income again there is a different schedule in the template for you to declare that income so those are the scenarios we have looked at so far we have looked at the first one whereby the director's income is exclusively from the company as a director if the company files pay returns and the director appears on the pay schedules they don't have to file director's returns it is an optional thing even if you did you know you're declaring the employment income in that return then afterwards you're declaring the pay that you've already paid on that employment income then at the end of the day the director's return has zero tax to pay it's a useless return really so you do not have to file because your employment income has already been filed that is one however if the director here has other sources of income that are other than employment income like you know rental income or property income then the director has to file or maybe the director at the same time is a sole proprietor in uh, some small business somewhere so they are earning business income from another something else then they have to file their returns so that they are able to declare all those incomes and those incomes are supposed to be subject to tax now let's look at another scenario uh, we have a director yes you're a director of a company a but maybe you're in a director 
you a director in more than one company. You director you a director in company A, director in company B, director in company C. Now, if all those companies are registered for pay, and in all those companies they declare their pay, you you appear on the pay schedules of all those three companies. Let's say there are three companies, you director in three companies, and all those three companies pay you a monthly salary. So if you if you appear in in on the pay schedules of all those three companies, it simply means that from all your three sources of income, you're paying taxes on them via pay. So again, you do not have to file director's returns. The URA officer is able to see that you you have you you on pay on the pay schedules of all the companies and you're paying income employment income tax that is via pay on all the, the on, on all the companies so there's no need to file however of course in practice sometimes it depends on the officer that is handling some some of these issues there are some officers that just choose not to see the bigger picture here uh, you'll find that a director is on the pay schedules. They have been remitting their taxes, but probably they still insist that you should file director's returns, kind of like, because that is what they've been told. Well, in such circumstances, yes, you can just go ahead and file the director's return, but it is a waste of time. I mean, I'm filing a director's return. I'm declaring income that he has been earning throughout the whole year. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to declare that this income that I have declared, this is the pay that has been paid on that, on that entire income. So at the end of the day, the tax liability that has been computed in the template is being, you know, cancelled out by the pay that I've declared. And at the end of the day, the return is a zero return. It is useless. It is a waste of time. But it depends on the circumstances and the kind of officer you have met at URA. But um, according to the law, you don't have to file, really. So, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say here is that as far as director's returns are concerned, if the director's income is exclusively, you know, if the director, this individual, exclusively gets their income as a director from this one company and they the company files pay they don't have to file director's returns however if the the director's source of income is not exclusively employment income but this director earns income from other sources then this director needs to file their individual income tax return so that they are able to declare all these other sources of income so I think that's it. I have answered the question. In case you have any other questions on employment income, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, when it comes to showing you the details on how the director's return is filed, getting into all those details, that will be a video for another day. This is Arnold. Thanks for watching.